Hi, my name is Yuli and this is Nerd Alert. For today's video, I have prepared my August wrap up and it's a bit early, so I'm probably gonna read either another webtoon by the end of the month or another book. But yeah, <laughs> this is what we're working with because for this month I read more than last month. Last month I read only one book and I don't even remember which one it was. Oh, it was The Kingdom of Liars and that's why I didn't really do like a proper book like wrap up at the end of the month. But this month I read two books and a bunch of webtoons that I haven't counted this time. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. So the two books that I read this month were Shadows Return by Lynn Flewling. Flew, flew, I'm sorry, here is her name. And The White Road by the same author, their books four and five of the Night Runner series. And I absolutely love this series so much. I have two books left and hopefully I'm going to finish Casket of Souls this month. I hope to finish it by Sunday or Monday. Honestly, if I listen to the audiobook, I'm probably fi gonna finish it way faster than if I read it and I'm probably gonna do it. Uh, but yeah, so look at this. Have you ever seen a floppy mass market paperback? Because both of these are floppy. I love them. But anyway, so I was really afraid of reading Shadows Return and The White Road just because I read the synopsis of the books. I'm not going to say anything about them because I don't want to spoil anything. And I'm going to link the first one in the description along with everything else that I have read. But I um, had read the synopsis for these two books and I was afraid of what was going to happen to the characters and I was procrastinating the reading of these two books just because I didn't want to read what this book was about and then I did and I really enjoyed it. The characters struggled a lot and I just am so glad that they are over that now and I really liked the conclusion of this story arc because the way this series works is that the first, I would say the first three books are a story arc um, and then the next two books are a story arc and then the final two books are a story arc as well. So you can kind of like take long breaks be between the separate story arcs and I love that. But I really want to finish the Night Runner series by the end, maybe if not by the end of the month, then by the beginning of September so I can move on to something else. But basically I have been in this massive reading slump for the past few months, which is probably the longest time I've gone with without reading novels in ages like it's terrible um so yeah i have only been able to consistently read the night runner series so far and this is from audiobooks i have tried so many other books since the kingdom of liars but always there would always be something that i didn't like which would put me yet in another reading slump so, so i had just come out of another reading slump after reading the kingdom of liars and i was ready to start reading something else and then i started a few books like three books i was reading three books and i didn't have all of them because it just really wasn't feeling them or didn't like something about them and actually uh, I have a video coming up about all of the DNFs that I have had so far this month, not this month, this year, so you'll see all about them there but basically I haven't had like the greatest time reading novels so I'm so glad that I am enjoying the Night Runner series. So I haven't started the book yet but I hope to finish Casket of Souls this month uh, so I'm going to include this in the wrap up but yeah it's mostly like a prediction rather than an already a thing that has already happened and the, way, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't know when I'm going to be able to film videos because with my job I finish at different times and there isn't always good lighting as well like right now it's very gloomy outside but I have the time to film so I decided to do it anyway and that's why I'm doing this video I have already rambled about the Night Runner series for way too long like five minutes is too long for that so yeah basically I am loving my journey through the books I gave them four stars each and I'm hoping to finish this one by the end of the month so yeah, this is these are all of the novels that I've read this month, but I have 
a whole page of webtoons and like one here so that's great i'm going to go through all of the webtoons that i have finished or caught up to this month and also i have been keeping up with the updates of the webtoons that i read from last month that are still ongoing so if you want to check out my webtoons video from last month i'm going to put it somewhere um here all down in the description somewhere so yeah basically the first webtoon that i read this month um actually i was uh, on a reading high so i wanted to read books but instead i um found a few webtoons and my webtoon mood just re got revived so that's why i read so many webtoons again and i enjoyed all of them this time so the first webtoon that I finished this month was called is called the 101st Heroine and it's about this girl who got reborn, who died in her last life and got reborn in this fictional world and she assumes that she isn't the protagonist because she is kind of basic, uh, she has short hair and likes to wear trousers while everybody else likes dr wearing dresses so you know she isn't like the other girls. But I actually really enjoyed this webtoon even though it's kind of weird. It got um, advertised to me on Instagram, I've seen it several times so I was like okay I'm going to read it and I'm really enjoying it. It's still ongoing, it has like 30 or 40 ish like episodes out so far and I gave it four stars because it's so enjoyable and honestly we still don't know if she is the protagonist but honestly she's a protagonist so we'll see but basically in this world she isn't the only one who has been reborn um, as a person from like uh, in that fictional world so I just want to see where the story takes us um, and how it's going to you know develop because it's kind of like your basic story of this kind. I've read way too many already, so I kind of know what's gonna happen. But I'm, I kind of like those kind of stories, um, so yeah. So the next one that I read is Ellen's Sohua, which is again a similar type of uh, webtoons. However, it's kind of different. Uh, and this is that um, Ellen is the main character of the story and she uh, has had like a hard time in her life and stuff she's had a hard life and she kind of like gets like a heart attack or something while she's working at her job and she dies and gets reborn into a more like teleported transported to this um i think it's in the past in the body of sohua that's why it's called ellen's sohua and uh there she meets um sohua's I guess lover or something and falls in love with somebody else so yeah that's like kind of like a very weird way to do like a love triangle but I'm really enjoying it at first I didn't think I would like her love interest not soul class but Ellen's love interest but actually I don't like soul class and I like Ellen's um, and honestly this is what started a new obsession of mine which is historical webtoons with long-haired men Whew. this is just throwing me back to the time when I was a teenager and loved men with long hair. I don't, don't, don't really care about the hair that much, but at the time I really loved it and just reading these webtoons with these long haired men. Like now, if I can, I'm going to show you uh, Ellen's love interests here or here, but they had this one very beautiful scene that was just, I also love the art so much. Oh my god, I really love it uh, and I gave it four stars. It's still ongoing so it's actually pretty short and uh, like had like 30 or 40 episodes again. I'm not sure how many but yeah. So the one after this is... So the next webtoon that I finished and gave four stars to again and it's ongoing but a bit longer than the first two I talked about is called The God of Pain's Groom and it's about this family who worships the God of Pain or something and they've had this deal where... Um, the women from that family would ma get married to like this guy every 50 or something but um, in this uh, this time it is a boy who gets married to him because he um, wants to for his he wants his sister to have freedom and stuff and drama happens now I really enjoyed this webtoon it took a bit of like kind of like an, an unexpected turn so I really appreciate that because usually with these stories it's kind of like straightforward and I really enjoyed this webtoon there are a lot of things happening there and I liked it it is yeah I, I really like enjoy it and I can't wait to catch catch up to it because I haven't read it since I finished it in the beginning of the month so I've probably missed like a few chapters now I um 
read another webtoon that I haven't really caught up to and I kind of stopped reading it because I kind of didn't like where the story was going, kind of, my, but maybe if I, if I keep reading it I probably would like it. It's called The Knight and Her Emperor. Or oh, it, it also has another title which is The Emperor and the Female Knight, so you may find it with both titles. Uh, I gave it four stars again uh, and it's a bit of a darker kind of webtoon that isn't romance or anything or if there is it's like later on in the webtoon but basically it's about uh, this one night um, and she was basically um she's the oldest daughter and she was supposed to inherit like everything from her family but her family um her father remarried somebody and had a child with them so he wanted his second child to inherit so he sent off his first daughter to like basically war um, where she was supposed to die but she survived and became a very good knight and then she met an emperor and that's how the story begins she basically helped the emperor conquer like all of the countries that he wants to conquer and now I think is um, the Webtoon is going to be a bit more on the political side than the fighting side and I'm kind of interested but I think that I'm going to wait for a bit more uh, updates before I actually finish reading the rest of it because as I said I didn't like where the story was going and I don't want to wait for every single chapter when I'm at a moment where I'm not liking what's happening. The next webtoon that I finished is my only, I think, yeah it's my only five star webtoon so far and it's called My Dear Coldblood King and it's on its third and final season and I am reading every single uh, update and I'm waiting for every single update and I absolutely love it and of course they're long-haired men which is what I was looking for <laughs> after Ellen's sofa and I absolutely love this webtoon so so much I'm not going to say anything about it I'm just going to say that the art is amazing the story is complex and I love it and honestly it can be very confusing at times but it's not like a bad type of confusing it's a good type of confusing because it keeps you on the edge of your seat because of all of the questions you have and I love it so much also all of the ships are amazing the next one that I read is biting the tiger it is a bit of a weird one I gave it four stars because I enjoyed it a lot but I don't know really how I feel about where it um, left off of. I haven't really seen any updates yet, but it should have like two maybe, but I haven't seen any in a while, so I don't know. But it ended off on a weird point, um, and that was right after they were so happy together, so I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. But the next weapon that I finally decided to read is called True Beauty, and it's very popular on Webtoon, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm currently reading it as it comes out, uh, but but I really enjoyed it and I have really enjoyed this webtoon. It's about this girl who was bullied oh, for her looks when she was younger because she wasn't wearing makeup or anything so she started wearing makeup and therefore feeling insecure when she wasn't wearing makeup and stuff uh, and she, she's in a love triangle and stuff and a lot of things happen and I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, currently it is at a point where I'm just thinking that the main character is kind of stupid uh, and like she is but the webtoon is enjoyable and the art is so good and also funny sometimes so yeah I appreciate that a lot Sub-Zero which is also I think popular on webtoon and I'm not going to explain about the plot of this one either just because it's a very it's like in the very beginning I know that there are like 40 or 50 episodes of this one but it's still in the very beginning of the story so I feel like trying to explain it won't really do anything so yeah I gave it four stars I'm enjoying it I want to see more of it and I want to see the development of this of the stuff of the story so yeah the next one is daughter of the emperor this webtoon is a bit different it has a lot of seasons I've read up to season five and I'm just waiting for it to get updated i have given all seasons four stars and i'm enjoying it a lot basically this character got again died in her world and got reborn in this other world and she has retained her memories since she was a baby so she remembers everything and she was very aware while she was still a baby of everything that was happening and stuff so that was cool i really enjoyed reading it basically it's a very chill webtoon for like the majority of the seasons you just follow her life uh, from the time she was baby until a baby until she was one years old two years old four years old five years old and so on until she turns 18 i think and starts um, 
like falling in love and stuff. Uh, what I really enjoy about this webtoon is how you can see that this emperor who is known for being cold-blooded and like killing his other children, how he gets close to her and he just kind of like from being so like not sick but cold-hearted, um, he just starts like warming up to her and therefore not being so cruel to everybody else around him. And then you see all of the, those other people a Sissi, who is his like knight uh, and follower and very loyal follower, who is like this very popular knight for being cruel and like cold hearted and stuff, also warming up to his daughter and trying to like overcome his problems. Basically, it's about her influence on these grown up people around her who are used to war and stuff and I'm really enjoying it. And I stopped, um, well, it stopped because um, the new chapter uh, ended on a cliffhanger and I still haven't read any updates. I think I'm going to wait a bit more until I get a little bit more of this to read because I'm really enjoying it. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, but it's just like a cozy webtoon. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend it if you're interested in something like that. Um, especially if you like the visuals of the characters. My other favorite webtoon of this month is called They Are a Couple or A Couple of Handsome Men. They uh, This webtoon has two titles and you can find it in, like with different titles. Basically, it's about a group of these five um, trainees who become idols and they debut and um, I feel like all of them are gay, but the, the it revolves around the main couple of these two guys and um, it gives me love stage vibes just because of their past. Like the first character is dark haired and the other one is blonde haired, so I'm going to refer to them as the dark one and the blonde one just because I don't remember uh, their names. But anyway, so they acted together in this commercial and the dark haired one was uh, dressed as a girl because he was filling in for his sister who is very sickly and was at the hospital at the time and the blonde one kissed him uh, because they had like a kiss in their scene when they, when they were kids and then they meet as adults and trainees before they debut and after they debut and basically we follow how uh, their relationship develops. Uh, it has about 200 episodes and I feel like it's ongoing but it hasn't been updated in a year so I don't know if it's ongoing in like, I think it's the Chinese one, so I'm not sure if it's ongoing in China or not. Like, not sure. It hasn't had any updates in a year, so I have no idea. But if there are any updates out there, I would love to read them because I love it so much. I love their relationship and everything. <sighs> and the other characters are finally getting their own stories, so I just can't wait to read more of it and I really hope that it gets updated. The next webtoon that I read is called Midnight Poppyland and it is one of the most popular webtoons on webtoon. Uh, the app I mean, so yeah, I'm enjoying the story. It's in the very very beginning of the plot, at least that's what it feels like. It has 40-ish episodes, so I'm just waiting for the updates. That I'm, that's all I'm going to say, but as I said before, I'm going to link all of these webtoons that I'm talking about down in the description so you'll be able to check them out for yourself but I really do recommend it. I just love both Poppy and the main love interest whose name is either Kieran or something else and I don't remember that. So the next uh, webtoon that I read I caught up to it and it like the, fi the second season just finished so that's great. It's called Let's Play and again it's one of the most popular webtoons on webtoon and I really enjoyed it. It's about this girl who is a game developer and she developed a game but after her um, favorite YouTuber or YouTuber uh, gave it a negative review kind of things kind of went bad for her. So yeah I really enjoyed Let's Play. It's, it's weird. I feel like the main character is kind of relatable not always but kind of so I like it. It also what I love the most about this is the representation of mental health and how it affects your life and I feel like this is very well done in this webtoon so yeah. The next webtoon that I read is called BJ Alex and it is completely sp uh, smut so yeah I didn't actually expect that because in every I will I wanted to read a BL webtoon so I was looking at lists uh, of BL webtoons and I couldn't really get hooked on any of the ones that he checked. So I've always seen BJ Alex advertised on, advertised, shown or listed in those lists. And I was curious about it because every time I read it, it's like, oh, it's the best story. 
So I was like, okay, let me check it out. It's like, it's, it's just smooth. Uh, but it does have a story and I enjoyed the story, but I didn't really like the half, the first half of it. I don't even know why I kept reading. I guess it was just curious to see if this is all that was going to happen, but it, it took a turn for the better um, halfway through it. So I actually enjoyed it and the extra episodes were so sweet and all that. So yeah, I would recommend it if you like this kind of thing. I didn't really want the smooth part, but I was really into like a BL mood. I really didn't have anything else to read. And uh, the one after that is Yubisaka to Ren Ren, which is a manga about a deaf girl. So there, there are just seven chapters translated in English. <sighs> So I'm gonna be waiting a lot for the next few updates, but um, I gave it four stars, I really enjoyed it and I want to read more of it. Now the next webtoon that I read, I actually recently finished and it's called Edith. I really enjoyed Edith, I didn't expect it to like it just because um, I've seen that it has a love triangle, so I was kind of, a, I kind of assumed that they didn't, wouldn't like it, although there is literally a love triangle in every single webtoon that I have read even though I don't want them so I was like okay I'm gonna read it because really I'm in the mood for a romance webtoon so I read it and I love it and I can't wait for the updates because they are really they just look so cool uh, I, I also love the art the next webtoon that I finished is again the most popular webtoon on the app and it's called Lore Olympus and I'm not going to explain anything about it but I'm enjoying it a lot. After I finished it I missed the world and the atmosphere that the webtoon had and it hasn't happened this hasn't happened to me since I read Elin Sohua and then my dear cold blooded king just because I really love the characters and the atmosphere and everything and I just can't wait for the update. I need to see when it updates actually but yeah I gave it four stars. I just it's in the beginning of uh, season two but oh my god I already love it so much so I want to see how it's going to develop basically and it also has some serious topics. It's not just um, pink it's also blue. <laughs> I'm sorry. One of the most recent ones that I finished after Laura Olympus is called My Deepest Secret. I actually started reading it last month and I couldn't really get into it because I just thought that it wasn't like that interesting. It's supposed to be kind of like a thriller kind of type of thing, but I just really wasn't feeling it uh, in the beginning. But then I didn't know what else to read because I'm running out of webtoons that I'm interested in. So... Oh my god, yeah, basically I didn't really want, know what to do and I started reading it again. I gave it four stars, it is on in the beginning of its second season I think and the story hasn't gone anywhere yet but it's very interesting because the main character has a boyfriend and the boyfriend is typical Yandere or is he a typical Yandere? I don't know Yandere, I don't know but basically if somebody bullies her or does something bad to her he would go and either beat them up or kill them and we don't know that he's doing that yet. I mean, the main characters don't know, we know. And then there is this other guy who works with his uncle, who is a cop, who is trying to investigate that thing and something else, and they get closer, kind of. And she still is very much in love with her boyfriend, uh, and she doesn't know what he's done. So I'm curious to see when she will discover and how she will react and what's going to happen. So yeah, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. And yeah, so. The next webtoon that I finished is called Harsames and it is about two boys. Um, it's a BL webtoon, it's very cute, the art is very cute. I haven't really um, seen much of it yet just because uh, it, they upload, they split the episodes in parts and upload them. So even though it has like over a hundred parts or something, the chapters are actually like less. So nothing has happened yet but maybe it soon will hopefully i don't know but it's cute and i hope that it go that something will happen soon and i'm really enjoying it so i have a few webtoons that i have started reading and i'm in the very beginning of so i haven't really put them on my reading tracker so yeah the first one is called the boxer and it got advertised to me through like the, this webtoons event where if you read 18 chapters of uh, the selected webtoons you would get five free coins so of course i would get that free coin so i read the boxer no i didn't expect to enjoy it but i actually really did because i like boxing so 
it's a stupid uh, reason, but yeah, and it's uh, kind of like my type of thing. It kind of seems dark, and the character seems overpowered for no reason. So I was like, yeah, let's just read it. And it's like on like its fifteenth or eighteenth like episode. So I'm just waiting for updates, and I'm reading it as I go. So that's why I haven't really added it to my tracker. But yeah, that's it for the boxer. And I don't know what kind of rating I would give it, just because their story is in the very, very beginning, so I can't really say anything about it. And then the other story that I'm so excited to read is called The Omniscient or Omniscient Reader. And it's cool. Basically, the premise is that this guy has been reading this uh, online novel for 10 years. It has like over 3,000 or 2,000 chapters, and it's about the apocalypse and something, and he's read it uh, until one day he reads the final chapter, and he's sitting uh, on the train on the way home from work, and he's just finished the final chapter, which doesn't really seem like it's a final chapter it's kind of a weird thing and then he gets an email from the creator saying that he uh, they would give him a present because of how like devoted he's been to uh them after he send them like an email or something saying how much he appreciates the story and uh they say they tell him that he would get his present at like 7 p.m or something uh, of that day and then stuff happens and by stuff, I mean the apocalypse. So he realizes, this is all just four chapters, by the way, so it's not a spoiler. Um, so he realizes that what's currently happening to him is what happened from the novel. So he kind of knows already what is going to happen because he's read that novel. He was the only reader of that novel for 10 years. And I'm really excited to read more of it because I'm loving the premise so much of it. And things are, things are looking good like the art is good and the story seems so so good so i can't wait to read more of it last but not least another webtoon that i've started and i'm very interested in is called face it's pretty new it has like nine or ten chapters out uh the ones that are free anyway and i'm enjoying it it kind of looks cliche ish but I don't mind because I'm enjoying it. Basically, this one girl is uh, currently homeless and jobless and she's trying to find a job. And one day she gets hit by a car and her life changes. But she's keeping a secret. Ooh, she's very... She's keeping a very dangerous secret, I guess. And it's kind of obvious what kind of, what what this secret is from the way she's, like, trying to hide it and stuff. And, I mean, she's not really hiding it from us, but from um, her employer. So we'll see how it's gonna go. I'm very curious to just see the, de the development of this story. So yeah, I just can't wait to read more of it. And these are all of the books and webtoons that I have read this month. Uh, as I said, I hope to finish Casket of Souls this month and I hopefully will. So yeah, these are all of the books that I finished. These are all of the, these are all of the webtoons that I finished. I'm probably not going to put them all on, on the screen, but just like the most popular ones. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me how many books did you read this month? Are you happy with your reading month? What is your favorite read of the month? And I will see you soon with a new video. Bye guys! <laughs>